Right, I'm in um, Moorlinch Church. I've got a little booklet here about the history of it, which I'll go over later when I'm upgrading the video to DVD and to the internet. Um, this, is, this is a gold mine here. There's so much to do outside. I found loads of Coombs graves. And uh, there's somebody coming now, so I'm just going to whiz round quick. St Mary the Virgin, Moorlinch. So we have got a name. In memory of Reginald Popham, Arthur Morris, Eleanor Popham, Louise, Emily. Lots of the Poppams. Interesting bosses up there, wooden bosses, a green man I think I can see on one. Oh, and different rosettes maybe, oh, it might not be the green man, it might just be a rosette. Might be in the book. See a fresco right at the back there. And one on the wall there as well. Gallery of course. Um, I think it was Charles I or somebody like that had that big painting there with the shield and the lion and everything, the whole unicorn that was um, put in all churches by order I think and up here, here we got the symbol of uh, the Crusaders I think I've seen that a few times now that's the symbol that was in um, St Michael's at Clapton and Gardeno And of course I look out for the Sheila Nagig. Little squint there, that's what was called a squint. I don't know why people are always allowed to see. I look out for the crosses as well on the walls on the outside. There's lots of them outside, actually, but not um, individual ones that have been carved by somebody there, like built into the design. Yeah, here looks quite an interesting window here. Yeah. Maybe it was damaged. This one. Some, somebody with a sword. The heating's on in here, you know. Somebody with a sword there. Maybe this was a repaired window. You do get vandals, you know. That's interesting, a footstool with musical notes on it. It won't come out, will it? There's a beautifully carved pulpit there. Dark wood. And I suspect, is this a perpendicular arch or is this a Norman one? Bit of both, I suspect. Another little smaller pulpit here, nicely covered up, a little cloth to protect the, what were they reading? Psalms. Uh. Organ, 
I still have them. Is this is going to start getting dark up this end, I reckon. Oh, what's that? That won't come out without lights on, will it? I wonder where the lights are to this bit. There's a beautifully carved in gold lettering. It might come out if I get closer. In gold letters, something near. Near this place was Thomas Durston of Merlin, Morlinch, gentleman, son of Thomas Durston, the elder of Catcut, General Buried, the 8th day of December, 1630. Also Thomas the Elder, Buried, 25th of June, 1665. It's about the Durston family, but it's all in gold lettering. Which, that says Thomas Lutt. Which, because there's not enough light. That's a symbol of a cow's head there. That won't come out either. A magnificent high ceiling. Looks like it had to have some repair work done at some point. And here we've got an effigy, which will probably tell me in the book who it is, which I will have to come back to when I do the video. I'll have to label this lady. Or I might mention it when I'm outside in a minute. So I don't know who it could be exactly. I've got a booklet. Um, oh, the writing is too small. My glasses aren't that far away. Just showing the different jerseys. This is really handy. Yeah, well, it's probably in there. There's another lovely window. Look at that. He's come out very bright. Yeah, it's really pretty glass. It does look quite old. Some of this looks like it's been newly done though. It looks like modern cement. I don't know if I'm that keen on it. I mean, it's still somebody has had to carve it, I suspect, but they probably use moulds to do that. A little tiny piscina. There. For the washing of the hands. That's for the mass. And then we've got that effigy. Just walk back down through. I'll take some photos in a second. It's a mixture, this church, of a bit of Puritan and a bit of traditional. It's the feel of it. Not over ornate. It's, it is being looked after. The tower and bells were rededicated after the repair on Easter Day, 1924, by the Dean of Wells. The fourth bell was recast by subscription of the parishioners in memory of Clifford French, Austin Fry and Harold Savage, who gave their lives to the country in the Great War. For none of us liveth to him, and no man dieth to him. And there's that beautiful, very old door. We mustn't forget the doors. Many of people have walked through that doorway, many. Many. 